We have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Nottingham Forest up against Leeds United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Kaylon Navas is the goalkeeper. Renan Lodi plays with Serge Aurier in the fullback positions. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape if they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the full-backs can push on. Let's hope they do that today. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the contest begins. Harrison. Adam Forshaw with it. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Renan Lodi. Ryan Yates. Well, Forrest giving it away. Bamford. This attack looks highly promising. Very quick thinking there. Weston McKenney. On the ball, Luke Ayling. Bad pass. Aboniyi. Well, that is how to play advantage. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Can they forge ahead? Well, last gas defending, but brilliant defending. Patrick Bamford. And it's with McKenney. Who continues his run. Seemed to switch off for a moment. And now a throw in. Not giving him a moment's peace. And a bad pass it was. Ryan Yates. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Firing it towards goal. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Rodrigo. On the ball, Luke Ayling. And Rodrigo has it. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Rodrigo. 
McKenney, superb block. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Work from the benches and he's actually twisted his knee. That's why he's been trying it out. At the moment, he's carrying on. Cheers, Jeff. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. the header he had in mind and the goalkeeper gobbling that one up well there we have it this has been a really poor game so far the players need to pick up the tempo and be a lot braver with their passing and their movement this can only get better Rodrigo McKenney wonderful chance Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range he should be scoring, and he knows it. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Poor shot. The Nottingham Forest throw coming up. This could be dangerous. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Kenny, well kept out. So the corner played into the box. That's a routine take. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Well, they have the ball once more. Harrison. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Aurier. It's with Aurel Mongala. Aurier. Targets available. Cross comes in. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Foul there, free kick awarded. And a substitution in the offing. And that's easy peasy for the keeper.
Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box, and then get their front players attacking the ball. And struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Into the final 20 minutes. Junior Firpo. Not the pass he had in mind. Abonigi. Gustavo Scarpa. And continues his run. Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Played over. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. It's a short one. Played into the centre. Well cleared away. And that is going to be a free kick. Substitution for Leeds United. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Robin Cock coming onto the pitch. 21, Pascal Stroke. Ten minutes to go then. Patrick Bamford trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Aurier. Shelby. Gives it a go. Oh, fine save. And it remains all square. Well, he saved his team there. That's a big moment for the keeper. And time for the change now. Let's see about the delivery. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Gustavo Scarpa. It's with Aurel Mongala. And threading it forward. Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead. And it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Aurier. He's enjoying space. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. And the cross not quite accurate enough. And saved by the keeper. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Just made sure nothing came of that. In position now. 
player in the way again. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their reward.